गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे विल नॉट गो थ्रू द थर्ड और फोर्थ स्टैंड विल टेक टाइम टू कम्प्लीट दिस पॉइंट लेट एस मूव स्लोली बट स्टेडली सो इफ वी लुक एट दिस टू स्टैंड द लास्ट वॉट वी स्टडी द ग्लूमी एटमोसफियर इज रिप्रेजेंटेड फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग टू द एंड ऑफ द पॉइंट लेट एस जस्ट रिकेपिटुलेट वॉट वी हैव स्टडीड word by word line by line and thematically <clears throat> my request is to while going through the video make full use of this study material or write down what is being spoken that will help you later to understand the topic first let us talk about thomas hardy and a victorian poet victorian poet means when queen victoria used to rule england and basically he was known more for till now he is known more for his novels more not for his poetries and his famous novels are the return of the native tales the mayor of castle bridge and many others in during 1860 1870 there was industrial revolution in england that changed the entire social economical scenario of england society got divided into multiple classes upper class middle class lower class working class the elite class and the people who belong to this middle class they had a very somber kind of lifestyle they a very melancholy lifestyle entered the work there was no positivity there was no certainty of success in life further health condition was not good that time england also used to get engaged in different wars with different countries so many things are accumulated here in this particular poetry all these things are going to be reflected in these words words are not three dimensional you have to read it and you have to make the 3d image in your mind imagination you have to use as you have studied in your poem television in last year it is important that you should imagine you should make images in your mind the drugling thus duck duckling means a kind of surrounding that is duck thrush is a kind of songbird now if you look at this introduction what will you find that sky was cloudy the surrounding was gloomy there was darkness everywhere whether it is inside the mind of the people whether it is inside the heart of the people or whether it is outside cold was there inside as well as outside darkness was there inside as well as outside and that is reflected in every word so here you may think that why is the natural atmosphere surrounding is so much presented nature and the surroundings do have a great role do play an important role in our life we behave according to the nature behaves so here let us see what happens i leant upon copies get when frost was sepulcher gray at the beginning of the poem what do you find the poet is standing alone near a gate copies gate that means when you open the gate you will straight go into a forest if you have doubt again if you are watching this one for first time go through the previous videos also that will provide in the link and winter's drag may desolate the wakening eye of the day winter's drag means the end of winter winter is about to end this is the end of the 19th century and the beginning of 20th that means 1901 will start sorry 1900 will start and that is the end of 1899 so this is not only the last december of the year this is the last december of the entire century last winter of the entire century winter's drags made desolate the wakening eye of day the winter end of winter is making the surrounding the day desolate isolated painful gloomy dark wakening eye of the day 
and the evening has become very weak we know in winter evening comes early in northern hemisphere so the eye reflects the light of the day the surrounding light the light of the surrounding has become very gloomy so ever here weakening of the eye of day means the day becomes very faint the day light becomes very very faint powerless and the evening comes very early the tangle bind stems coat the sky the root the steel roots of those vine trees are climbing up but there was no leaf as we know in during winter the trees shed their leaves like strings of broken lyre the roots those are hanging from the tree vine tree look are compared to what compared to the broken lyres strings of broken lyres they are compared to string but the lyre the music instrument is broken that means that does not produce any kind of happiness or joyfulness here and all man mankind that haunted me and all the human civilization entire hindu human civilization is getting haunted with the surroundings they are afraid of something unknown they are afraid of the new year they don't know what the new year will bring will it be same as the last year will it be same as the last century so the poet is very much in tension as well as the entire civilization whether the next century 19th century is going to be as cruel as bad as gloomy and as pathetic and melancholy as the previous one or will it bring a new morning with rays of hope and light people are very much afraid to think they don't know what would be the future so as if they are haunted haunted with what haunted by the events the painful events of the past and shout their household fires they have no other works to do at the evening they are just returning home from their office and they just want the homely comfort and nothing else they have no productivity inside them they have no dreams so that they are going to fulfill they just want homely safety the homely comfort just want to return home in the shivering winter and enjoy the fire the land sharp features seem to be centuries corpse outland the land sharp feature the surroundings the picture of the surrounding the landscape if you look outside the surrounding looks very peculiar seem to be the centuries corpse outland that is the dead body of the last century obviously it is a negative term that means the surroundings the outside looks so deadly and gloomy so silent so pathetic so melancholic so the land sharp features the sharp feature of the land which is feature of the land must is what trees buildings roads grounds so that those features seem to be century scops outlet it seemed like the dead body of the century is lying outside so those are nothing but the parts of a dead body dead body of whom of the last century the last century 19th century was a painful one people witnessed different kinds of battle loss of human lives death of dreams slavery and all these painful acts so surrounding does not look positive enchanting instead looks like hell it looks like the dead body of the last century he script he script the cloudy canopy he script man the the century's dead body that means the surrounding surrounding is compared to century's dead body that is covered with what canopy that means cover or cloth the wind is death lament and the wind is blowing very sharp and shrill making very painful sound seems like they are singing they are crying at the death of the century so here we understand the 19th century did not go well especially the last part several reasons are there battles selfishness social disorder political disorder so many things you have studied in class 7 and 8 in the history books the disorder the english country suffered during that period of time the ancient pauls of germ and birth the ancient process 
of germination and birth that means rebirth germination productivity got fat a shrunk and hard and dry they are no more working here it seems like the world is barren they will not produce anything new not a new plant not a new baby not a new anything it is totally spoiled the ancient pal the ancient process got stopped here there is no possibility no chance nothing is there and every spirit upon earth every living being on the earth seem paperless as i look like lifeless colorless flavorless as whom as the poet why there is nothing good in the atmosphere it is gloomy it is going to rain it is cloudy the last century did not go well so it seemed like the end of the last century it is the end of the last century written here in the form of the death of the last century why it is the death because the last century was too long too painful and the december this last winter will enter or take the world into a new century 20th century people don't know what to be the future so they are not at all enjoying the winter or the arrival of the new year instead they are afraid they are thinking they are pondering about the unknown future now from the next stanza we are going to see a thus a singing bird a common singing bird will sing and that will infuse a great amount of confidence in the poet and that will change the outlook of the poet poet will find hope so the little thing will introduce hope in the poet so it is not the nature poem that we know normally it's little different so go through this explanation once again i'll send the link also along with this video of previous videos of the previous classes give importance to these classes okay why let me tell you once if you read these things properly and write by your own that will help you to develop your writing skill this is not class 5 6 7 8 or 9 10 that will tell you will help you and you will write you should produce that quality of writing your own you have to develop the standard you have to en enhance the quality of your writing grammatically the apparently everything should be properly modified in this class you need huge practice keep it in mind you are in class 11 so you should be serious and you should be attentive hope you will go through this video and in finding if you find any doubt do let me know i'll surely clear it out in no time thank you very much